Much of the Colorado Plateau in far northeast Arizona is barren and not particularly scenic. Since the land forms wide, empty valleys interspersed by low, scrub-covered plateaus, lacking any great natural features, visitors are thus more than somewhat surprised when they come upon this outstanding canyon some 470 kilometers from Phoenix. The tributaries of the Chinle Creek running through Canyon de Shelley originate in Chuska Mountains, have carved the rock and landscape for thousands of years, creating sheer red sandstone cliffs that rise up a thousand feet to an overall elevation of 7,000 feet at the east end. Just east of the town, the muddy seasonal Chinle Wash emerges from the lower end of Canyon de Chez, between walls that are only a few feet high but rise sharply after a short distance, hence restricting vehicles to a single entrance next to the stream. The canyon floor remains green and fertile all year round. The protection offered by the rocky walls and the beauty of the landscape explains the habitation of the valley by primitive peoples from 2000 years ago to the Anasazi civilization up to the 12th century before suddenly disappearing. The Navajo have lived here for the last 300 years. Around 40 families have a permanent home rearing sheep, goats, and planting crops. Canyon de Chez is entirely owned by the Navajo Tribal Trust of the Navajo Nation and is cooperatively managed by the National Park Service. The short-lasting rain leaves puddles in the rock formations bordering the walls of the canyon, providing creative opportunities to portray the small pools of water in front of the canyon backdrop. best known feature is Spider Rock, the sandstone spire that rises more than 700 feet from the floor of the canyon and is named for Spider Woman, a key figure in Navajo lore. It is the last remnant of the stream and hill slope erosion process that continued to make the canyons deeper and wider. Around 200 BC, the way the Pueblans lived changed from basket makers, hunters and gatherers to more of an agrarian lifestyle. They became more sedentary and built communities of multi-story villages and terraced units of stone blocks accessible via wooden ladders. These dwellings or houses were constructed under numerous overhanging cliffs. Mummy Cave Ruins is the largest preserved ancient Pueblan village. It is situated 300 feet above the canyon floor and had close to 70 rooms. The east and west alcoves contain living and ceremonial rooms known as kivas. An impressive three-story tower is located near the eastern cave. Mummy Cave was occupied until about 1300 AD.
White House was constructed in two sections. One stands against the base of the cliff on the canyon floor and the other is a small cave immediately above. The lower ruin on the canyon floor once comprised around 60 rooms while the upper alcove site had 20, including four kivas. The White House takes its name from the white plaster used to coat the long back wall in the upper dwelling. Antelope ruins comprise two main building areas around a central open plaza. It is estimated that the complex had about 90 rooms, although much of the structure has been washed away by flooding over the years. The ruins are named for nearby historic painted rock wall figures that include antelopes. The canyon is recognized as one of the longest continually inhabited landscapes in North America by a thriving Navajo Indian community. A visit to the park provides a great insight into the present day life and rich history of the Navajo people. During our visit, we learned of an octogenarian woman who still leads a herd of sheep into the canyon each day. Access to the canyon floor is restricted and visitors are allowed to travel in the canyons only when accompanied by a park ranger or an authorized Navajo guide. 